Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi. How are you doing today, Gilberto? Nice. Thank you. Nice. And you? I'm very well. Thank you so much for asking. Good evening, Daniela. Mauricio. Kati Briseida. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing today? Well, I'm doing fine. Just working. Working? Okay. Yes. Are yes. you still working at this moment? No, I I'm not working. I no. I I just was waiting for the for the class. Okay. 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 Let me share my screen. <clears throat> Okay. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us on time. <clears throat> okay, good. So Today is Monday, August 28th. Um, this is the class number six. For today, we're going to continue talking about restaurants, okay? Today, we're going to see some procedures at, uh, in a restaurant or different restaurants, okay? And at the end, of course, we're going to have a practice. Okay. Um, at the end of this class, you will be able to name a variety of procedures going on different areas of a restaurant. For example, it could be a procedure doing um, um, orders, okay? Placing orders. Um, Another procedure could be how to distribute the schedules in a restaurant. Um, how to do cleaning in a restaurant, everything. So we're going to discuss different procedures, okay? Um, have you worked before in a restaurant? So one of you? Do you remember? Maybe when you were uh younger, um you work you or you used to work in a restaurant. Nobody? For for school I, I've been I've been in a in a restaurant and they teach me uh, a, a lot of procedures uh, as a waitress, as a chef. And as uh, I, I don't remember the other uh, ballot. Okay. For how long did you work in a restaurant, Mauricio? Just for a week. Just for a week. <laughs> it's oh, just for... for yes. Oh, okay. So you said when you were in high school, it was just a uh, part of. Just uh, yes, far of the of the of the classes. Oh, okay, okay, good. Well, so if nobody has uh work in a restaurant, uh, we're going to verify uh some procedures. We can look for it then in Google or uh, any source that we can find that will help us to describe better the procedures. Okay, good. Um, let me see. Okay, let me open this. Oh, here it is. 
Okay. The standards procedure for taking an order in a restaurant. We're going to read this uh, conversation and we're going to order all of them. Okay. So we have a 20, 20 um, procedures how to order, how to place an order. It says standard procedure for taking an order in a restaurant. Okay. We're trying, we are going to try to order all uh, the procedures um, with the numbers. Okay. If you have if you don't have experience working in a restaurant, but you have experience ordering food, right? So try to remember that. I will give you two minutes to read the complete conversation, and then I'm going to ask you which number do you consider that is first. Okay, now that you have an idea about a conversation, which um, a statement do you think that is the first one? If you go to a restaurant, what is the first, what is the first phrase that you say to someone? Good morning, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay. Greetings, greetings. Good morning. Or good afternoon. Uh huh. So you consider this is the first one, number one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. And then number two. May I show our lounge a menu, sir, ma'am? This one, number two. No, no, no. No? No, in the second. No, no, no the next. last one, the last one in the, uh -huh. in the right. Ultimate. In the right, yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> Yes, please. Mm, okay, but be careful. Uh, let me see. Let, we're going to identify it is between a sir, sir, or an, a ma'am, right? Who is who spoke first? It could be that this is the first one. Okay, and the second one can be this one. No, no, I got it. Sure, no. okay, okay. What will be the third one? Mm -hmm. Yes, I had a, a beer. The third one could be, would you like something to drink while you look at the menu, sir, ma'am? Okay, number three. Yes, I have a beer. Yes. Yes, I have a beer. Okay, number five. But 
share back the the the, uh, the, the tree is an uh, answer for on the client. That is a question. Would you like something to drink while you look at the menu? Uh -huh. ¿Te gustaría algo de tomar mientras revisa el menú? ¿Quién diría eso? Waiter or the client? Waiter. 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 Okay. Um, waiter uh, is doing um, a question for the mm. client. Mm -hmm. So, who is start talking? Two. Who is start talking? Waiter. The waiter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then who continue? The number two. It is may I show may I show you our our lunch? Aha. Uh -huh. Who continue talking? The waiter. Mm -hmm. And number three, the waiter. So no ha dicho nada el client. So tiene tres uh, uh, statements. The waiter. Yeah. Number three is for the client. The client. This is a question, okay? Would you like would you like something to drink while I look while you look at the menu, sorry? Yeah. This this is a question for the client, but who asked the question? The waiter. Because it's who is looking at who is looking at looking at the menu? Who? The waiter or the client? The client. The client. Uh huh. Mm, yes, please. Number four. Okay, let me help you. Will be this one first. Okay, when the client arrive, may I show you? our lunch menu, sir. Okay, this is the first phrase from the the waiter, right? Then the client answer. More than, no, yeah. no, thanks. Number three, then good morning or good afternoon, sir. Luego um, is the greeting. Lo vuelve a saludar porque en ese momento todavía no quería el menú. Luego se sentó. And then, otra vez se acercó el mesero, the waiter, y le pregunta, Good morning, good afternoon, sir. Um, entonces, then, the client answered. May I take your... Um... Oh, no. This is a reply from the client. Number three is from the client, okay? Because, and then number four, which one do you consider that is number four? Mm -hmm. When when you um say good morning to someone in a restaurant, that person will offer you the menu. Which one do you we is number four? Mm -hmm. May I take your order now, sir? Now, okay. May I take your order now, sir? Después de un rato. Because at the beginning, he said, no, 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 no yet, okay? No sense. Then, good morning, good afternoon, sir. May I take your order now? Which one is number five? If someone asks you, may I take your order now? What will be your answer? Mm-hmm.
number five, would you like some beer to drink, sir? Mm, no, that will be the answer from, from the waiter, from the client. Number five, what will be the answer from the client? Uh, I think it will be yes, please. Yes, please. Okay, mm -hmm. number five. Mm -hmm. And number six, thank you, sir, mom. Have you ordered in 15 minutes? Uh, the number five will be... Number six. Oh, number six will be the... Will be... This one, do you yes. think? But what is the order? Mm. I think that mm, number six will be number five. You can see there the Porque hay como una contradicción en que le dice que sí, luego que en 15 minutos. Okay, you you consider that this one will be yes, please. Number six. And number five, which one? This one. Thank you, sir. I have your order in five, fifteen minutes. Number six or this one or number seven? Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, just tell me numbers or phrases and at the end, uh, the system will provide the correct answers, okay? I will ask you one by one. Just let, just tell me one that you consider that is correct. It doesn't matter if that is incorrect. Okay, Gilberto, number seven. Which one do you consider that is number seven? Which phrase? Uh, would you like some beer to drink, sir? Ah, oh, here. Okay, number eight. Uh, lady. Yes, I'll have a view. Yes. I have a view. Okay, number nine, Carlos. Uh... Maybe certainly a, a lamb chop, a mixed salad with friend dressing. Okay, number 10, Rolando Danilo. Rolando? Um, which guy of salads? Um, which one? Sorry, I, um, I don't find the one that you said. Can you please repeat? Uh, which kind of, of salads? Uh, side do you? Oh, which prefer kind of French? salad dressings do you prefer? French or Thousand Island? Okay. number That is number 10. You, you can see that, that is number 10. Okay. Uh, Daniela, 11. Mauricio Buruca, number 11. 
Um, yes, I have a mixed salad and a lamb chop. Okay, good. Twelve. Kati? Um, which vegetables come with the lamb? I'm sorry, Kati, which one do you consider that it, that is the correct one? Would you like something to drink while you look at the menu, sir? Okay. Would you like something to drink while you look at the menu, sir? Mm. I, I consider that that it's that is not the, 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 the real one. I think it's which vegetables come with the lamb soup because of the continuity. Okay, good. Number uh, 13, Maria Leticia. Que vegetables? Quiero ver. Oh. Mm, pero es la que les sigue según según yo es eh, Good you like some? No 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 no. It comes with fried potatoes, carrot and peas. This one that you consider that is number 13. Mm -hmm. This one, 13. Yes. Uh -huh. Number 14, uh, Silvia. Hello, teacher. Hello. Sería... Thank you. You share it, man. Estamos hablando. Yes. Thank, thank you, sir, Arman. I'll uh, have your order in 15 minutes. Okay. Number 15, uh, Rodrigo. Mm, I think, uh, <clears throat> uh, would you like something to drink while you look? No, 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 no. I think can be will be will will there be anything else? Mm -hmm. Will be there anything else? Okay, thank you. Sixteen, uh, Daniela. No, Daniela is like listener. Okay, lady? Yes, I have a cup of coffee. Yes, I'll have a cup of coffee. Okay, 17, Gilberto. <clears throat> miss, 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 miss. Uh, maybe would you like some coffee for dessert? Y luego, now, yes, I'll have a cup of coffee. Ah, okay. This will be... um, la quince donde estaba y uh -huh. fifteen. And sixteen. Sería sixteen. Sería. Would you like some coffee for dessert? Ah, uh, en en la otra no. En la otra. Okay. Seventeen. Yes, I have a cup of coffee. 
Okay, thank you, lady. Eighteen, Gilberto. Uh, no, that all thank you. Okay. Carlos, nineteen. <clears throat> we lost the conti con uh, continuation, right? <clears throat> it means yeah. that, aha, uh -huh. it means that it is a different order, but we're going to submit the answers and then we're going to see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you will see now. And we're going to read it. Okay, show the answers. Okay, that is the answers that we have. Okay, now we are going to correct the answers. Okay, look at this. Number one, it says, May I show our launch menu, sir? Okay, when someone arrives, right? May I show your uh, lunch menu, sir? This is the the waiter. Uh, and he answered number two. No, thanks. No. Up to the up to one. The number not two ten. up to one. Uh huh. No, no, it's like a not yet. Okay, maybe later. Okay, and then number three, again, like uh, after fifteen minutes. Okay, the way he says good morning or good afternoon, it depends on the time. It depends if that is a woman or man, okay, sir or man. Um, may I take your order now, sir? Mm -hmm. Okay, number four. Number five, it comes with fried potatoes, carrot and peas. Okay, number six, yes, please. Um, number seven. Yes, I'll have a mix salad and a lamb shop. Do you know what is a lamb shop? Chuleta. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah, what's it the, is. What mean lamb, teacher? It is like it is like a chuleta. Mm, okay. These ones, you see? Okay. In your only lamb. Lampara. Uh, no. Cordero, cordero. no, no, no. Lamp with P is lampara. Okay. With the letter P at the end. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Lamp. Only lamp. Sorry, what with B, right? Uh huh. Cordero, teacher. Yeah. Okay. We were here in the number eight, right? Uh huh. We with baseballs come with the lamp shop. Number nine. Would you like uh something to drink while you look at the menu, sir? Because he was still uh look at uh, looking for it for. Uh, the main dishes in the menu, right? And he answered number 10. Uh would you like some beer to drink to drink there? Oh, it is the same the two questions, okay? Would you like something to drink? And then the, the same waiter ask, would you like some beer to drink, sir? And then eleven. I will have a French dressing, please. Okay, that that is like the the beverage. Okay, the kind of beverage, and then twelve. That's be fine. Thirteen. Yes, I will have a beer. Okay, number fourteen. What is fourteen? Which kind of salad? Dressings, do you prefer French or Thousand Island? Uh, number 15, let me see. Yes, I will have a cup of coffee. No, I don't know why he has this order. It sounds, it, it 
it is no it doesn't have a sense right because after 14 it says which kind of salad dressing do you prefer I don't I don't know why it has these orders and then I will have a cup of coffee no and then 16 certainly a lamb shot mixed salad which friend dressing a glass over a cup of coffee mm -hmm. no it is like a disorder I don't know why it have these these uh, correct answers right if we need to just may, uh, give give the conversation like a continuation, as you said before, and it doesn't have a continuation. And don't have a sense. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't. Okay, well, the Make main point. not sense. No, it doesn't have a sense according to the order, according to the correct order that it says. Well, but the main purpose for this uh, conversation is that we identify um, the phrases that a customer or a waiter can say in a restaurant, right? So what will be the correct procedure that we are going to to follow in in a restaurant. When uh, that is one procedure, right? When someone take takes an order. Uh what will be another procedure that we can do in a that that employees can do in a restaurant besides taking orders? And when I arrive at the restaurant, I I uh, give no. Uh, I need to table for maybe in my case for for four uh, person table for four person. Ah, uh, okay. It will be um look for an appropriate space or table for. I mean to the to. The clients, right? It will yeah. be like um. Let me see. What will be the correct word for for that? Rearrangement. Okay. It is like uh. It is an arrange arrangement for customers. Okay. What else? What else do you consider the employees can do in a restaurant? Mm -hmm. What else? Uh, first, great, great customer. Great customers. Okay. Yes. Welcome customers, right? Yes. Welcome customers. Okay, besides uh taking orders, uh welcome offer, the customers. Offer the menu. Offer offer the menu. Um, what else they do in, inside, like uh, internal procedures that, that are different, not with customers, internal procedures, which procedures do you consider that they do? Uh, if they want something to drink. Can you please repeat, Carlos? Yes, uh, ask if they want something to drink. Okay. 
up if they if the customers want okay something to drink but that will be inside the taking order i mean will be it will be um in the same procedure taking an order okay so which other activities employees do in a restaurant? Uh, clean the table. Clean, okay, cleaning. Cleaning the table. And not only the table, right? Um, the kitchen, the floor, everything. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. The all bathroom. areas. Yeah. Okay, cleaning will be another one. Meeting. They offer, they offer menu, the drink, the drink. Yes, that will be, we already mentioned that, offer the menu, the menu, the menu, okay? Taking orders. Okay, we have also cleaning, and then meeting, meetings, okay, with the manager. What else? Do you consider that they have different schedules? Like different uh, days uh, and, and for example, they have to go probably uh, one day in the morning, next day they have to go in the afternoon. Organize uh, the activities. Okay, special organization. Teacher, uh, I think that the manager has to remind them of the restaurant philosophy. Could be. Okay. Remi remain the restaurant's philosophy. Yes. Uh, maybe uh, attends uh, the customers with a, a kind. Okay. Be polite. Be polite. Maybe they have a phrase that they used to say to the customers. I don't know. Uh, maybe the name of the restaurant. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Uh remember the maybe discounts or the, uh, some offer maybe or the new uh, uh, meals with a specific re recipe 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 yes okay okay do you consider that uh procedures in a restaurant are important Yes, yes. Yes, okay. Yes. They are really important, okay. If a customer experience in a restaurant is affected by procedures, okay, it could be. So um, if employees like the waiter or, or uh, someone else in a restaurant, mm -hmm. yes, doesn't follow the procedures that they need to follow, Right, that will affect the customer experience. Yes, of course. Okay. Um, let me see. We have he here and step steps a waiter follows. Okay, there are numbers of steps a waiter follow to take at and serve an order. Okay, take customers' orders. Yes or not. Is it uh, a step? They they have they have to follow. Uh, seek yes. the customer. Seek the customer. Read the, the customer. Number one. The okay, read the customer. Number one. Number read two. The 
Take customer's order. Take customer order. Take customer's orders. Okay, number three. Confirm the order. Confirm the order. Number four. Handle the food correctly. Handle the food correctly. Number five. Serve the food. Serve the food. Serve the food. But see the customer, which number will be this one? Mm -hmm. This is number two, okay? Greet the customer will be number one. And then one. see the customer. See the customer two. See the customer. Number two. Mm -hmm. right. Take yeah. customer's, customer's order. order. Number three. Huh? Confirm. Uh, confirm Wait. the order. Number four. Uh -huh. Number four. Handle the food correctly. Handle the food correctly. Number right. five. And serve the food. The food. Serve the food. Okay. Very good. That is the order. Okay. There we have the different steps that a uh, waiter follows in a restaurant. Um, if they don't follow the correct um, the steps, so customer experience will be different. Imagine that they um they first take the, the customer order, right? Uh then they greet the customer. Okay, it doesn't make sense, right? Okay, but in maybe in some in some restaurants, maybe mm -hmm. they took they took the, the customer's order first, right? Then then they confirm the order and then they see the, the customer. Right. But it uh, the normal steps are first greet the customer, see the customer, take the order, confirm the order, handle the food. And then serve the food. Okay, so examples. This is our examples of procedures that they do in a restaurant. Okay, now what I want is that you look for the um definition. Okay, you can use an an online dictionary if you want to look for the meaning of these words. If you already know the meaning, just tell me what is the meaning. Um, volunteers. I need five volunteers to ones to to give me the the meaning of each word. Me teacher. Okay, which one, Carlos? Handle. Handle. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning according to your words? Uh maybe it's according to hygienic which uh to uh take the food to the table for the client which uh i don't know uh, with gloves or with good presentation and because you have to um manipulation food manipulation of the food okay yeah. okay yes handle in the in the term is specific in a restaurant right handle the food so yes we can consider uh definitions in the way that they they will manage the food okay but in term in, in in general, handle is um uh, can be applied to to any tool or any job that you do. How you handle that situation, right? For example, if you have a problem with your family or your friend or your boss, how do you handle that situation? Okay. Yes, control of a situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. ¿Cómo manejarla? ¿Cómo manejar ese proceso? ¿Cómo manejar eso? Okay. 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 Good. Confirm. Uh, so when, uh, Robert, 
Tommy? The definition of confirm. Okay, number two, confirm. I think so is when the client need to need to set up the the order for for your for your meal. Um, in this context, in a restaurant, confirm. I think so is about when when the client need to need to confirm or need to set up the the order for for your meal, dinner, lunch, or breakfast. I mm -hmm. think so, teacher. Okay, good. It's double check. That is confirmed, right? For example, if the client in this case they said, I want um okay, I want salad, fresh salad, uh vegetables and chicken, right? So how you are going to make sure that uh, that is the correct order. So the, the waiters used to say, okay, sir, just to, just to make sure, okay, para, asegura, para asegurarme. So you order this, this, and this, okay? Yes. Oh, okay, good. So that is confirmation, okay? Confirm. Okay, payment. Gilberto, how do you define this? Payment. Uh, the payment teacher, I think, uh, that, con that pay the, the, uh, the bill. Each bill, the each um, drink. Uh, the restaurant. Okay. Paying the total. Okay. That will be the payment. Uh, pay uh, the end. Customers has to to pay what they have eaten, right? That is the payment. That is the definition of payment. Okay. Good. Thank Sophia. You. Thank you. Sophia, how you how do you uh define greeting? In my opinion is when you say hello to the customers or someone in the restaurant uh, uh, do the introduction to the customers. Okay, very good. Thank you. Lady, not if five. Um, I think that communicator with the order at the customer. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you communicate the customer. Communicate the customer about so, your order. About your order. Okay, for example, if the customer says, I want, um. I'm ready to pay. It. <laughs> uh, for example, the customer says, "Uh -huh, it could be." For example, the customer says, "I want to order lamb shop." Fifteen minutes. Oh. Uh -huh. And you see, and you see. Oh, okay. Let me see if that is available. And you go to see, and that is mm. not available. So you go back and you notify. The customer. I'm so sorry, sir, but that uh, menu is not available now. So you notify, right? Information when you provide information to the customer. Sure. Hello. Yes, William. It's an action to communicate uh, to the customer that we offer. Mm -hmm. Correct. It is communi communicate information, right? That is what we can say. Okay, good. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. Now, common issues in a restaurant. Okay. Which of the following are most common issues with service you have experienced in a restaurant? 
Do you think establishing a procedure could help reduce those issues? Why? For example, okay, the waiter gets your food you did not ask for. Okay, have you experienced that in a restaurant? That the waiter go to your yeah. the place where you are and serve the food and that is another order? Yes, it happens. Mm -hmm. It's a very common mistake or issue. Okay. And what, yeah. how is your reaction? Get, get hungry. 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 Angry. 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 Yeah. Really, really feel very upset because uh, uh, if yes. you are if you are angry, you will say, Okay, I will take it, no problem. But you will have my the order that I that I order, okay? <laughs> <laughs> if you are angry. If you are uh, hungry, but if you are angry, you said, no, no, I don't want this. I, I didn't order this, right? Okay, so other common issue, the food takes too long to be served after ordering, after ordering it. Yes. Yes. The food takes too long. Mm -hmm. Like to one hour. After... Mm. Have you experienced that? A lot of Many times. times. Yeah. Especially <laughs> in, in, in pupusas. Yes, of course. <laughs> in pupusas, yes. That is why um is well it's better to call the place and order the, the pupusas before you go, right? Uh, the and then and then you the will say, <laughs> Yes, Carlos. <laughs> the pupusera says we'll already be <laughs> <laughs> yeah that is what I usually do because I don't like to wait too long okay um, that is a common issue when uh, the restaurant is crowded when there are a lot of people there are a lot of people there trying to eat right so it happens Okay, the waiter is not polite. It's not usual, but but it happens. It happens a lot. I don't know if it be, because maybe they are already uh, tired to be there or they have problems, but uh, if you make a request and they say, okay, but they... Uh, the gesture that they do is like uh, their eyes I uh, um shows that they are telling you, oh my god, um, I need to. I don't want to, to do this. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Uh, well, it is difficult, I guess, for 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 them. Try right? do the same. Uh, maybe more than eight hours per day, but so for a reason they are there, right? So they have to to do her job or his job, their job, in a polite way. Any kind of job, we have to do it in a polite way because it's necessary. Okay. The dish you want to order is not available, but it appears listed in the menu. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. it Very happens. common. Very common. I don't know why they just, uh, they may, there are a lot, these sticky notes that are very easy, very easy to use, right? They should uh, just use one of them and and uh, paste that in, in the menu, say ditch not available, right? Say the name of the ditch, not available. Once that you look at the menu, you know that it's not available, but they don't do it. So you are 
Okay, I will order these, and these, and these, and they are not available. It is. Let's go to the Pollo Campero. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to another restaurant. Yeah. Yes, of course. Okay. The dish in the menu differs from the actual dish. The way it brings to the table. Mm -hmm. it, it, it seems that it's very uh, delicious, right? In the, in the menu, maybe in the picture that is there. Or it seems that it has more food, but once that you... Yes, it's more They food. bring the, the, the dish to you, it is very small <laughs> yes it happens a lot have you experienced that someone a lot of times <laughs> <laughs> you have to See, order what? double to be okay <laughs> <laughs> well, probably you do, it, it looks it looks good but when you taste it it's very it's very it's very awful awful yes it happens Okay, well, common issues, right? Um, and how do you handle these situations, right? If you are if you are in the site um of the waiter, for example, or the manager of the restaurant, so, uh, how do you handle the situation? I don't know if you have received like a extra food for one of these issues. No. Sometimes, oh, they change the the dish. Uh huh. But it's it's. I don't know how to say it. It's about your. How do you comport us? <laughs> how do you know handle? Word. How do you handle, handle the situation like a like yeah. a customer too, right? Yeah. Um, if you were here hung, hung, hungry, they try to come and give you some extra food. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have you received pizza for free? A lot of times. After the when you order, right? That is um delivery, delivery service. When you order the, the pizza and it says more if if that takes more than 30 minutes, it's for free. Have you received um uh, the order after 30 minutes? And yes. then they gave it to you for free? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Have, have a, the, deli a the, the delivery asking and asking the corner and the other corner <laughs> <laughs> and then lost the time for a right to the, the location. <laughs> I knew Past someone. 30 minutes. Yes. Oh my God. I knew someone that the, he did it on, on purpose to provide the incorrect address. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> And then the the delivery uh guy was for another lost, lost <laughs> yes. And at the end, when uh, he arrived to, to the correct location, that was it was too late. And he said, "No, but um, uh, you already um took more than thirty minutes, so I don't have to pay that." You said. That if you take more than 30 minutes, it's for free. So <laughs> I, it was like a funny, but at the same time, no, you don't have to do that. It's not I, ha I have this 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 problem with Pizza Hut. They have a, a wrong address from, from my house and always repeat my, my right address and they, they never record it. Mm -hmm. Always always I I I call them, they, they were lost. Yeah. So when you want pizza for free, you say, I will call Pizza Hut. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that is a common issue. 
Okay, good. It, it, is, it is a bad manner, teacher. When you it is. Uh, delivery, yes. Mm -hmm. It is. Some people take advantage of that. But don't do it. <laughs> Poor guys that are delivering to the wrong addresses or they think that they are uh, in the correct address, but they, they are lost. Okay. We have more procedures here. Here, okay. Match the procedures to the de descriptions. Okay. Okay. We have letter A. Bowing food. Letter V. Hand washing. Letter C. Sanitizing. Letter uh, Letter D. Food storage. Letter E, purchased. Letter F, taste testing food method. Sorry, testing method. Okay. Um, I'm going to give you two minutes. Read the descriptions, and then you are going to tell me what is the correct. Letter C, teacher, and wash your hands and for a week, so use a brush to clean under your finger line, dry. Letter C? Wash your hands and for okay, a this week. one is the first one you said? Uh -huh. Wash your hands and four, ha four, and four, and four arms. Hands. With soap, with soap, use, use a brush to clean to under clean your under. fingernails. Right. Dry. Okay. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Uh, letter D, uh, food, food storage. Uh, to let frozen food become warmer until it is ready to cook. No, no, no. Aba. No, no, this, this is the A. This is the, this is, the second one is the tasting method. Okay. For the storage, D. To let frozen food become warmer until it is ready to cook. So you consider that this is D. Yeah. Okay. To let frozen food become warmer until it is ready to cook. Okay. What about this one? Take a sample of food you want to taste on a spoon. It's testing method. Testing, testing method. method. Okay. F. Buy packaged food only from licensed Portia. suppliers. <laughs> Purchase. 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 Purchased. Okay. Employees who receive and storage food organize items in the correct place to avoid bacteria. Sanitize. Sanitize. Food storage. E. Food Which one is this one? I'm sorry. That uh, that, I, I that, heard... that one that yeah, one. Uh, that one. Uh -huh. That one mm. is letter D. How in food? Hey. Letter D. Letter D. And D? the yes. D. Hey. A B or D. D. <laughs> Okay. And the and, oh, and yeah. above and above that <laughs> it will be a a no, no. no a this is a okay this one will be a, a. 
And that one is C. C. This one is letter C. C. C as in cat? Yes, C. C as in cat? And, and the, the first, first one is, is B. 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 Hand washing. Okay. Let, look, let me double check. Very good. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. V. V, V, as in boy. Okay. It says hand. Okay. When we. Watch your wash hands. Your hand. uh -huh. wash. Okay. Wash. That is hand hand washing. Okay, good. Okay. Letter F. Tasting method. Take a sample of food you want to taste. Okay. Yes. Very good. E. It says purchased. Buy packaged food only for licensed suppliers okay okay solo de los supermercados que tienen licencia okay that means that kind of products that you will buy are evaluated right they are good to be used okay letter a to let frozen food become warmer until it's ready to cook Okay. That is sown food. Okay, letter D. Employees who receive and storage food organize either in the correct place to avoid bacteria. Food storage. And letter C, that is Sanitizing equipment is washed, rinsed, and disinfected after each ditch is prepared. Okay, very good. Yes, I agree with you. Okay, procedures. As I said, this is the cleaning procedure, right, that they had to follow in a restaurant with uh the equipment in the in the kitchen okay with food how they get the food how they storage the food okay how they keep the food for probably uh more than two or three days because they have to to renew the products right um uh, products to cook or this kind of food are very delicate because they um they can be they can be damaged or they have few days to be used right so that is why they need to follow Be the procedures because Be I guess... so sorry Perishable product. Perishable. That is the correct word. Perishable. Perishable, perishable products or mm. good. Very good. Let me look. Let me. Let me look for that spelling that I don't remember. I had to spell it. Very. Perishable. I sending in the, the meeting chat. Mm hmm. Thank you so much. Okay. Perishable products, yes. That are the 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 food products, right? That that are used in a restaurant. So they are they cannot be some products cannot be more than five hours if they are not in a freeze. They can be uh, 
in bad conditions to be used and they they are no longer useful Teacher, to be eaten what? yes uh, i can I say uh, uh, the product spoiler spoiler yes it's como arruinado or something like that yes o se arruina spoiler yes you can say okay thank you Sorry, what's the meaning in Spanish that the word thawing foot? Um, the meaning in Spanish is the process to be frozen. Okay. Is the process of taking a from a frozen to a usual temperature? Okay. Cuando lo sacamos del frozen y lo descongelamos. As you can okay. see here, mm -hmm, to let frozen food become warmer. Okay? Cuando está congelada, llegará a una temperatura normal until it's re it is ready to cook. What, Thanks. How do you usually do that at home? How do you... Um, do that procedure when you have a frozen food and then you uh, take it from the freezer probably two or three hours before to cook it that is the process okay. congelar. yes mm -hmm. okay so we already saw different procedures that are done in a restaurant, right? With customers, with the food, products, uh, cleaning, okay? Everything. Um, now, okay, let me erase this. Okay, now in pairs, choose two of the product procedures, okay? You follow every day at your workplace. I'm not talking about just restaurants. It could be in your workplace. Create a mini poster to present both procedures to the class, okay? So, because we'll be in pairs, you are going to do two, okay? One each. Procedures that you do in your work. Okay, you can use different um, tools if you want, of course. Um, for example, let me give you an example. I don't know if you have used Canva. Do you know how to use Canva? Here that we have a lot of... Um, um, templates to use. I would like that you choose one template of here and you work on it, if you can do it, of course. Okay, to do your poster. If you have another tool where you can do it, you can do it in another tool because later you are going to share your poster to your classmate and you're going to explain your procedures, okay? What do you do at work? Do you know how to use Kappa? Someone? Um, from my from my part, no. 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 Another tool that you may know how to use it? Yes. Um con para invitaciones. Aha. Any template, you can use a template for any tool that you consider that will be useful to do a poster. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Yes, it is special the uh, exposition the the uh, flyer and the uh, okay. uh, exposition. 
Teacher, you, maybe PowerPoint, template. PowerPoint, also you can use PowerPoint, any other, any other that you feel that you can handle, okay? You can, teacher, you can use a uh, free pick. Yes, any, any. Okay, what you are going to do later is just uh, show the procedure. For example, the, let's say that this is an example. Okay, I can show my poster to you. Here, you are, you are going to, to let you know. Okay, this is the procedure that I do in my job. A US star number one, number two, and so on. Okay. This is just an example. Okay. So you can use any that you consider appropriate. I will do the pair. So I'm going to I'm going to use breakout rooms again in order you can work. Let me Okay, break on rooms. I will be calling one by one just to make sure that you are here available, that you are ready to work. Okay, Gilberto. Available, Gilberto? Available. Okay. Okay, Gilberto. Uh, let me see. Okay, let me add someone else to your... Oh, no, why, 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 no. Okay, let me... Rodrigo, are you available? Yes, I'm available. Okay, you will work with Gilberto. Um, Carlos Arsenio? Yes, teacher. You will work with Lady. Okay. Um, Andres, are you available? Andres Martinez? No? Daniela? Are you available? No? Julio? Aristides? Here. Julio? Yes? Okay. Yeah. You will work with uh, Robert. Are you available, Robert? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, Maria Leticia? Are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, Mauricio Benavides? Yes, I'm available. Okay, you will work with Maria Leticia. Mauricio Buruca? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, Rolando Danilo? Silvia Estela? Present teacher. Okay, you will work with Mauricio. Um, let me see. Sofia, are you available? Yes, teacher. Okay. Hazel? I can see that she's just listening, but I know she's available now. Hazel? <clears throat> Kathy Briseida? Yes. Okay, you will work with Sophia. Okay, uh, William Roque, Andres Martinez. 
Daniela, Lisette, eh, Hazel, en Rolando, Danilo. No, no available. Okay, let me open the rooms. Is it clear what you are going to do, guys? You are going to create a mini poster to present your procedures at your workplace. Any procedures that you do in your workplace, okay? We're going to check a spelling, punctuation, and the context, okay? How you explain the procedure that you do. Questions? No? Teacher, Wait. I have no. a question. Yes, Robert? The procedure is about uh, my company or yes. about the restaurant? No, your company. Uh, what you do in your workplace. Okay. Yes, okay. Teacher. Yes, Carlos? Uh, teacher, the, uh, when you speak about um, procedure, is like a uh, Road time would be the, the process. Process. I have process for, for example, a task that you do in your job. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tasks. Okay. Task. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. It's a uh, one procedure to the to each group or two procedures. Two procedures for each pair, okay? For example, um, Maria Leticia will explain one and Mauricio Benavide will explain the second one, okay? One procedure for each one, but you're going to work together, okay? Okay. You can, help, you can help each other. So pueden ayudar entre ustedes, okay? Giving it ideas, uh, um, also you can provide feedback to your to your partner. If your partner need feedback, you can do it, please, okay? You can provide feedback in pronunciation, structure, uh, everything. So you, if you consider that your partner need to improve, so you can do it, feel free to help your partner, okay? Good. Okay. Good, let me, let me open the rooms. There you go. I will give you 15 to 20 minutes. I will be there checking what you are doing, okay? Okay. Good. Good.
que se reserva. Ok. Ok. Este... Entonces, ¿cómo lo haríamos? O sea, cada quien trabaja en el suyo y se lo comparto y me revisa a ver si se entiende o... Sí, me parece, y los podemos apoyar, sí. Tendría que ser en inglés todo. Sí.